Hey guys, Morphologist here. What's up guys, it's Wasted Space. And tonight we're talking about the latest update on Patchology 1.097, which has had um, a really cool new feature that hasn't actually been listed on the patch notes. So we're going to talk about that pretty much right away, seeing as how we're set and ready to go. So Wasted, are you ready to demonstrate what exactly happened in this recent patch? Yeah, yeah, I think I am. All right. Then uh, let's let's give the countdown on on three. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. All right. Timer activated. Oh no! I I steered. Damn it. Did you steer? That's not good. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I've recovered. Anyway, the point of all this, guys, was that it appears, and obviously this is an undocumented thing, so this is purely from observation that Keen have done some pretty serious work on the game engine all of a sudden. And it's slightly odd that they haven't said anything about the fact that they've done any of this. But hopefully this will be a pretty good demonstration of what we're talking about, because this is something that I can attest to, and the guys that will have seen these things in action before will attest to. The game doesn't like these very much. And we should also note that before, when you originally had made this, this would lag the crap out of your own server, not even online. Yeah, yeah, the idea of doing this with two people is totally ridiculous, up until this point. So that basically means, if you didn't know already, because the physics rendering is so much better, you, there's a lot more possible that you could do, not only by yourself, but also in multiplayer. Now, mind you, the coding for multiplayer hasn't yet been rewritten. It's not fixed, so you're still going to have some lag issues, as you may see from my own footage, which is kind of like uh, lagging just slightly, but from Wasted's perspective, it should be pretty buttery smooth. Yeah, it's pretty damn good here. And I mean, the thing to note is that my sim speed is only now just about starting to notice a hit from this stuff going off. And seriously, I, I, this is at the point already where I don't think I've ever seen this sort of field get this big. And it's certainly at the point where normally this would be totally crippling to any sort of sim speed and you know everybody on the server would be crying bloody murder that I set this thing off in the first place let alone a pair of them yeah I'm looking at my simulation speed and frames right now I'm getting 1.0 and 61 frames a second so that's a marked improvement over any earlier patch <laughs> I'm just really impressed not just you know by the fact that they did that but visually it's so much more impressive to do something like this Wow. Look how cool it looks. It's huge. That's what I'm just, what I'm just saying. This, this is the sort of thing that Space Engineers has been dying for. And I think this is the thing that everybody who's been playing Space Engineers has been dying for and the thing we've been dying to hear from in one of these fixes. So I think it's actually slightly odd that they haven't made any song or dance about it because I think you guys can agree. There's no question. Something has changed. So may maybe it's a bit... They're kind of wary of shouting out about, oh, we've fixed all the sim speed problems and so on before they feel totally confident about it. But god damn, is this a strong step in the right direction. Look Absolutely. at the size of it. And it just goes to show that they are doing a heck of a lot more than we give them credit for on a regular basis behind closed doors. And that definitely goes for planets as well. In fact, I would go so far as to say that this is probably another step in the right direction for planets, which are inevitably coming sometime this year. And... and Go ahead, they're about to they're about to hit. Yeah, so. I was about to say they're about to hit. Make sure you're close to this, because I've noticed that the LOD has been adjusted a bit, but this should be pretty impressive. So you need to be quite close to things now to get the full graphical effect, even closer than you used to have to. But I mean, look at that. Would you ever have seen Space Engineers handle something like this before? Absolutely not. My god. Like this level of destruction just would have been incomprehensible. I know I did a video a while back called the Super Weapon where I had blown up a super carrier with a bunch of like these big ships that I was flying around shooting at it. And that was a real toll on the computer. I could barely shoot that in maximum frames. And now there's like full terrain destruction and a bunch of physics objects flying around hitting the ground. That's just... Oh. Well, and, and once it's done, and I think again people will recognize the importance of this, I'm now back to 1.0 sim speed and 60 frames a second. You know, I, I, even though all of that stuff has happened, all this destruction has happened, it hasn't now left the game crippled because of it. Indeed, and that, it's the same on my side. 
Now this is definitely the most exciting part of this update, but there is something else that was added into this update that's the number one on the list that is turrets no longer shoot through ships or objects to shoot at a target. Which, if you've used turrets before, you will know has been an ongoing issue. Yeah, they, they sort of solved it a little while back and they entered in some sort of intelligence behind the turret targeting system, but it never worked correctly. And in particular of late, it's been a bit of an issue. So really pleased to see that one introduced. I'm just, I just can't get over the sim speed. Oh. So hey guys. Yeah, so I think there's something that we really want to show you that we recorded while trying to make this video. Yeah. It kind of puts a bit of context on what we're talking about because obviously this is all about the sim speed and there's definitely some other elements to all of this but we'll leave you to see the clip and see what you think i see what's causing the issue what's that a wonky rotor oh we've got a rotor going lunatic yeah there's a rotor over here going fixed oh whoa Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, right, good. That means that we can continue talking about the same subject because it wasn't a problem with the sim speed. It was a wonky road. Actually, sorry, that was a wonky piston that I had discovered. Wonky piston. Either, either way. Pistons are not fixed. To clarify. Pistons are not fixed. Sim speed <laughs> seems to be fixed on like a general basis. Pistons not included. Yeah, I, I think we ought to really include this little segment as a cut-in because this is, I guess it's not alarming because they still did fix a lot, but it's still something to make note of that there are other issues that will cause severe sim speed drops that will not be related to physics, but more related to the programming of specific blocks such as rotors and pistons, which are infamous for exploding your ships in inconceivable ways. And landing it. And landing gear, yes, yes, yes. The hilarity of all of those objects, I think you are all well aware. All right, so um, back to that concluding statement you wanted to say, Wasted. Well, yeah, I mean, mostly it was that this is a, a kind of a, a caveated episode in that these are our personal experiences. This isn't a documented thing, so your guys' experiences might vary, and that does include things like pistons going AWOL and rotors going schizo and all of the above. Yes, but for the most part, it would seem that both you and I and some others that we've spoken to have experienced a marked increase in performance when talking about how many physics objects you actually have floating about in the world versus earlier updates. But as you said, it's undocumented and it's probably not going to be for everybody. So we would like to know what your experience is with this issue. Now, that's not the only thing we'd like to know because there's one more question that I think is really a follow-up to last week's episode, which is if you stopped playing Space Engineers, what's the reason why you didn't want to come back? Why aren't you playing anymore? I'd really like to know. We both really like to know. I'm pretty sure Keen would as well. But we're really genuinely interested to see what has stopped you. Is it is it a bug? Is it not being able to play with your friends uh, like very smoothly? Is, some, is it the multiplayer? Like We have these ideas, but we don't really have a lot of evidence to back it up, so we need your help. So yeah, just leave a, something in the comment section. Say something, and we'll definitely be checking that out and replying to those comments. Yeah, I'll be very interested to read all that. So check us out below, guys. Let us know what you think. And otherwise, thanks a lot for listening. We will catch you next week for the next episode. Yeah, guys, catch you next week for the next episode. And <sighs> one more thing, if you like the episode, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week.